How can we improve the early diagnosis of eye and neurodegenerative diseases safely and more accurately? European researchers are closely following the latest optical technologies to provide some answers to that question. Austria's biggest hospital routinely treats dozens of eye patients a day in its department of ophthalmology, and one disease comes up again and again, age-related macular degeneration. Last summer, this former psychotherapist was diagnosed with it. At 79 years old, the part of her eyes needed for a sharp central vision is damaged. I noticed that when I read close up in a book or a newspaper, I could see less, and so I turned to a hand lens for help. When it was very difficult, I read with the magnifying glass. Macular degeneration could affect up to 196 million people around the world by 2020. It's one of the most common causes of blindness, and yet there are often no symptoms early on. The disease is very difficult to diagnose, especially in the early stages, because it takes place on a very small part of the retina. The macula is just about one millimetre in size. So we have the smallest changes in the retina that can cause a lot of damage. This makes it all the more important to detect as early as possible when the vision is still good. Now scientists from a European research project are developing a new technique to diagnose it more quickly, which could also lead to new treatments. Their approach relies on three very complex optical technologies. They would allow doctors to literally see what's inside the patient's eyes. That's at the molecular level. The technology provides similar non-invasive images as the ones we already have, but with much better resolution, so we're able to understand how the vascularization is connected inside the retina. The optical technologies involve using a Raman spectroscope, optical coherence tomography and fluorescent imaging. But since eyes are so sensitive, the main challenge is ensuring that they're not damaged. One of the challenges with this method is, of course, the sensitivity of the eye to light. The big advantage of the method is that I don't have to touch the eye. I can just take light and scan the eye with light and measure the light coming back from the eye. And the light coming back from the eye contains all the information I need for a diagnosis. And since eyes are a window into the brain, the technology could also be used for the early detection of other diseases, ophthalmologists say. The human retina changes very little in the course of life. If there are changes, they're the result of diseases. These are changes in the central vessels. For example, high blood pressure or diabetes can be seen very well in the retina. But neurological diseases can also be seen in the nerve layer of the retina, such as multiple sclerosis, Alzheimer's disease. All changes that affect the central nervous system can also be seen in the retina. Once the technology is ready, it will be tested in a clinical trial involving around 100 people, some healthy and others with macular degeneration and Alzheimer's.